What's up guys? So in this tutorial we will try to be ripping Mobile Legends models from the character select screen. It can't rip bones, so you have to rig the character yourself. In order to animate it or to maybe like export it into SFM. To do this we'll be using Nox Player version 3.8.0.5 And yes, it needs to be this old ass version. We will also be using Ninja Reaper. I use it 1.7.1, but I think the newer versions will also work. And finally we will have to use Noasis. I don't know how to pronounce that shit, I think it's Noasis, but it could be like Noasis or I don't know how to pronounce that. So yeah, we're gonna have to use that to export our models to something like Blender so we can actually use them. Please bear in mind that for some characters this doesn't work at all. I don't know why exactly, but some of them only get ripped as messy spheres. In fact, most of the time you get a ton of glitchy sphere meshes and about 5, maybe 6 good meshes. So the first thing you should do is install Nox. Its default folder is good enough for this tutorial. Then when you, when you finally install it and you actually install the game inside it, because of course you're gonna need to open a play store and download the game and all of that and I also recommend you wait for the game to download the optional not really optional but the rest of the content that it downloads afterwards when you first open it I recommend you wait for it to download everything so you can actually rip off the actual well there's two types of models in this game you can have the in-game models that look low poly and kinda shitty but well they don't look shitty they serve their purpose but you know what I mean. And there's the character select models that look like something out of PS2. And those are the ones we are going to try to be ripping today. So yeah, when you finally install Nox and everything, you should be able to go to its options and change its graphics rendering mode. It should be, probably should be on compatible, which is OpenGL, but you actually have to change it to speed, which is DirectX. Now close Nox and make sure that you close it because we will have to restart it later in the process so it, it can't be open right now now at this point you should be you should have ninja reaper already downloaded and ex extracted and inside its folder you should find a 32-bit and a 64-bit version make sure to go to the 32-bit version which is the one that's called x86 because our Nox emulator is actually a 32-bit program. After opening up Ninja Reaper and make sure to open it as an administrator, you'll have to select the Nox executable file. The default path is C program files 86 Nox bin nox.exe. So select that on the exe prompt, leave the arg prompt empty because we won't use it for this and below the run button you can see what method of injection the software will use to try and rip stuff. For us, this should be set to intruder inject, which is the default option. And finally on output directory, choose a folder where you would want the files to be dumped. In my case, I just chose a folder I created inside the Ninja Reaper folder itself. Unfortunately, you have to set the output folder every single time you open up Ninja Reaper. Now in settings, you can define what buttons you will use to dump the models. In my case, I use P for textures and L for forced. The All option doesn't work for us. The Shader option is irrelevant to me, but if you have a use for this, go for it, man. Bear in mind that the format these shaders will be exported is .vs and .ps. The Forced Rip Interval is very important for us. And what it, is, what it basically does is that when you press the Forced button, for the specified amount of seconds, it will try and dump everything it can. I usually set mine to... Finally, press run and Nox should open. Now, you should open the game normally, go to the character select screen and then when he's done making his animations, you can press the dump button, which in my case are P and L. The game should freeze after each press, especially when you press the force button. This is normal and actually means that it worked. Pressing the texture button will create a folder called textures with all possible textures that were on the screen at the time. They will all be in DDS format. This format can be converted using Oasis, so don't worry. In fact, 
if you don't even want to do that, you, you don't need to because they work as is in Blender. So if you don't want to use it anywhere else, you can just use them like this. Pressing the force button, on the other hand, will not only dump textures, but meshes as well. So in my case, that's the one we will use. Now when we open up No Easy and navigate to our new folder, we can find a bunch of folders in here. They're all useless, they're just a bunch of logs that Ninja Reaper created, except for the one that ends with nox.exe. Now in that one, we can see a bunch of DDS textures and .rip meshes. To actually be able to view these rip files using Oasis, we will use a plugin that came with Ninja Reaper. It can be located under Tools, Noasis Importer. In there, you should find a zip file and a Python script file. Copy that Python script file and paste it under Noasis model viewer slash plugins slash Python. Now, if you close up Noasis and open it again, you should be able to view rip files now. But as I said before, they're most likely just a bunch of ugly ass spheres. Well, it turns out that most of the time this program can do its job properly. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes between one of the many crappy spheres, you can find a model without it being broken. You can export it as you like. In my case, I'm exporting it as an FBX. So finally in Blender or whatever 3D software you're using, make sure that your vertices aren't doubled. In Blender, you can do this by going into Vertex, Merge Vertex, by Distance. Also, don't forget to export the textures as well, because your... Well, basically the models that you export using Noasis, they actually come with a texture, and it I think it's Blender is called like a diffuse texture or something, but that ain't good enough for us. We actually need to have the textures mainly on characters that need more than one texture, and the diffuse texture is not, I don't know, it's not trustworthy enough for us. So basically, yeah, make sure to get the texture from the ripped file, get the normal if you want to, and yeah, 